Hi everyone, today we are going to see another uh, Singapore math problem. Let's dive in straight to the problem. Mark bought some buns and cakes for $286. Each bun cost $2. Each cake cost $3 more than each bun. He bought 4 more cakes than buns. How much more did he spend on cakes than buns? So this might look a bit complicated, but if we start doing it uh, step by step, things would become easier. So the first, uh, he bought some buns and cakes for $286. That does not much say much at this point of time. Right? So let's go more on to the second statement. Each bun cost $2. So first we're talking about uh, the cost. Right? Say buns, each bun cost $2. And each cake cost $3 more than each bun. So for cakes, it is $3 more than each bun, which is $2 plus $3. So that's equal to $5. So for e each cake, he's spending $5. Each bun, he's spending $2. So that's about the cost. The next statement is he bought four more cakes than buns. Now he's talking about the quantity. He bought four more cakes than buns. So this is about quantity. Let's say buns. We do not know how many buns he bought. So let's assume this diagram here, this one box shows the number of buns that he bought. So and for cakes, he bought four more cakes. So that is whatever the buns, the same amount plus four cakes. So that is what he bought. Now we go back to the first statement. So Mark bought some buns and cakes for $286. So the total here what we know is quantity but he bought the them for a total amount of $286. So the cost of this whole thing is equal to $286. So one thing that we can see here is extra four cakes he has bought here. The cost of the buns here, the cost of the cakes here, plus the four cakes cost, that is equal to 286. This four cakes uh, will cost you four times five dollars because each cake is five dollars, four times five, which is twenty dollars, right? So cost of this plus twenty dollars is equal to 286 dollars. So if we just remove this from the left hand side of our equation here, right, then we will have to remove minus 20 from here. So minus 20 on this side means the total will get reduced by $20. So that would be equal to $266. So that is the cost of this. But what we have here is the quantity, right? Now, we have just put these things in, in terms of cost and the quantity and this is the cost. And what we know here is the number of buns here is equal to the number of cakes here. Meaning if there are 10 buns here, there would be 10 cakes here. And we know that one bun is $2, one cake is $5. Similarly, if there is one more, then that is $2. And there will also be one more cake, which is $5. Then again, it goes on like this. So there would be n number of or a certain number of buns. Each will be $2 and a certain number of cakes. Each will be $5. And but for every bun here, there is a cake, which means for every $2, there would be a $5 here. So this can be grouped into one unit, right? Similarly, we have this unit here and this unit here and this one unit is $7. So this unit will again be $7, $7. Now, there will be $7, $7, $7, $7 and that is equal to the number of cakes or buns that is there. All right? So that many $7 gives us $266. So if you are writing it as an equation, uh, we can write as $7 times, we don't know the number here, 
right? The number of buns or the number of cakes. We are actually grouping them together here. So that should be equal to $266. So X or the number of items is equal to 266 divided by 7, which is 38. Remember, when you divide a dollar amount by another dollar amount, what you get is the quantity. So X is the number of quantities or number of units here. Now, that could be equal to the number of cakes and that is also equal to the number of buns. So in this case, we have 38 buns and we have 38 cakes. Right, now let's look at what was the exact question. How many or how much more did he spend on cakes than buns? So we need to find out the amount of money that he spent more on cakes than buns. Now when you look at this here, we know that these are equal numbers. So for every bun that he bought for $2, he spent $5 for cakes, which means he spent $3 more. So how many ever buns are here, which is 38. So he, the same number of cakes are there. So for each cake, he spent $3 more. So for 38 cakes, he would have spent 38 times $3 more, right? And we also know that he bought four more cakes. So this is extra. There are no buns for the equivalent buns here. So for this one, he has spent four times $5. So 38 times the difference here, $3, plus the extra four times $5. That gives us $114 plus $20. So he spent $134 more for cakes than buns. So that is how we solve this. Hope this was helpful. Uh, the, uh, there's another method of solving it would be 2 times 38 would give you the cost of buns. 5 times 38 plus 4 times 5, that will give the total cost of the cakes. And when you minus off them, then you should get the same answer. But this is a shorter method because we know the difference and the number of items here. We can go ahead with this method. Hope this was helpful. Thank you very much for watching. Um, do like, subscribe and share this with your friends. Uh, if you have any more questions, do let me know. I will try to answer them. Have a great day. Bye.